Question 5 on the Molecular Methods handout asks you to design primers to distinguish between RNA transcribed from the various alleles. So we're going to be working with RT-PCR, where the RNA is first reverse transcribed to DNA, and then we do the PCR reaction. So um, since we're going to be starting with RNA, the only sequences that we're going to be able to use for our analysis are the exon sequences. That means that our primers are going to have to be within those exon sequences. Now, similar to the previous um, analyses, we're not going to be able to distinguish the point mutation from the wild type allele just based on length of a fragment on a gel because um, the point mutation doesn't change the length of the sequence. So there's no need for us to include that point mutation in the region that we're amplifying. So that leaves us the possibility of just amplifying the region that has the deletion in it. If we're going to do that, we could put the primers right here in the same exon where the deletion is on opposite sides of the deletion. Now they would have to be entirely within the exon region because that's the only place where they're going to be able to anneal to. So if we put the um, primers there, then we would have, for the wild type allele, we would have a 0.7 kb fragment, um, which just corresponds to the size of that exon. And for the deletion allele, we would have a 0.3 kb fragment um, corresponding to that exon minus the 0.4 kb deleted region. Uh, so this would be um, sort of option number one. Option number two would be to put the forward primer over in the other exon, and then we would still stick with this same reverse primer. If that's the case, then our fragment length is going to correspond to this length minus the 0.4 kb intron, because the intron will not be part of the amplified sequence since we started with RNA. So for the second set of primers that I've just suggested, the wild type allele might be something like um, 0.9 kb, and then the um, B allele, the deletion allele, would just be 0.5 kb. So let's have a look at how those would um, appear if we ran them out on a gel. So here's Bob, um, Irene, and Jim. So for the first set of primers, we would have a 0.7 kb band for all three of them. And for Irene, we would have a 0.3 kb band. Now if we did that with the second set of primers, it's going to look almost identical, but the lengths will be slightly different. It will be 0.9 kb band for all three of them and a 0.5 kb band for irene only. So you'll be able to distinguish the wild type allele from the B allele, but you won't be able to tell the difference between the wild type allele and the A allele.